Welcome to the South Coast Boat Show where we've got an opportunity to try a very interesting new rib. This is the RS Pulse 63, an all electric rib and in fact the first electric rib that we've yet seen. So let's take a closer look and jump on board. Tell us a little bit about the rib, what does this cost? So this is our basic model, this one starts at about £74,000 XVAT right. and then we do commercial leisure and super yacht models yep. and with a whole range of options to suit the uh, user's operational requirements. Um, we've got a 47 kilowatt electric motor stern there which is uh, driven by eight um, batteries with a total of 50 kilowatts um, all run through a power distribution unit which is the brain that brains the boat in the bottom. And what sort of speed should we get out of it? Um, it can get up to about 20 depending on weather, load on board, um, our operating speeds up around 20 knots. And the range? And the range at 20 knots that will last you about two, two and a half hours. Two, two and a half hours at 20 knots yeah, so you should have a range knots. of 50 odd nautical yes. miles at planing speed. But at cruising speed of about 12 knots that's going to last you about eight hours. We've got a Mercury leg on the right. at the moment with a, just a standard propeller. Because there was talk of a, a hubless drive wasn't there? Yes we did and that is still on the shelf that will, that will still be looked at. Yep. It was just it did not meet the performance that we required. Shall we give it a go then? Let's go yeah. Please, thank you. So are we technically running? Um, yeah, we're still always on. Yeah, just throw it in, that'd be great, thank you. So obviously there's no idle speed as such, it's literally just switch on, is it? Yeah, it's just switch on. Um, I don't know, let me just get clear of here. So what we've got, as I was saying, it's, it's uh, a rad tag. Right. So the tag makes the circuit. And so if this is not on there, right. it's like a, a dead man switch. It's okay, so it's like a kill switch. It's a kill switch. But is it magnetic or is it a... Yes, it's magnetic. Yeah. And the glory of that, it can be programmed for each user. So instead of having a key to the boat, each user has one of those. It can be geo-fenced and you can sit in your harbour master's office, watch where your boats are and you can restrict speed and restrict area nice. through that. And for big events like Sail GP, yep. where we have four of these going this year, the on a laptop or on any computer they can see, we've got a 4G transmitter in the throttle. Right. That tells everybody where the boat is and gives a representation of what's on the screen here. Okay. And also through software on board, we can also control the smart marks for racing as well. So the new marks that are don't need anchoring, they're held there by GPS, we can control their positioning. Okay. And the hull, is it a conventional planing hull? Uh, it's a very difficult, the hull has been built to actually house the weight of um, the batteries. Um, it's very different to a deep V hull. Um, as you'll see when we get back off, you'll see that it, it is, uh, a, it's got two cathedrals which spread out the weight of the batteries. Right. Um, but it will, it does plane very quickly. So is it also a bit more stable then than a DP uh, yes, hull? Yes, it is. It's a lot more. It feels stable. nice. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. We'll just come up in speed. So what speed are we doing at the moment? You got a uh, five knots. So this is only five knots. You just hear a bit of a whine from the motor. Is that the motor or the gearbox causing the noise? That's the motor. That's the motor. Okay, now it feels like we're pretty much planing. Yeah. We're doing 7.7 .7 knots. 7.7. .7. So it's planing at very low, nice low speed. That is because the uh, torque of an electric motor. Okay, so the extra torque of an electric motor means that it will plane that much quicker. Yeah. Very nice. So we're doing 12 knots now. skimming along very nicely. So if we have a look at the dashboard, what can we what does it tell us? Have we got this battery? Me I have 70% of the battery left. Yeah. We also have a visual representation of that. Right. And, and is that the range, top left? Um, that's 76%. And then these are temperatures of our drive and our batteries, etc. As you say, this is the first time we've been yeah. out for the last three hours. So does it show distance remaining too? Um, that's all programmed in. So is that uh, distance 40, remaining? Yes, yes. So at this speed at this we've speed. got a 45 mile range. Yes, that's right. That's, that's very speed. impressive. So we're doing... So we're doing 
coming up to 15 knots. 15 knots. Is that flat out or is that...? Today that is flat out. Um, Will it go quicker with one up? Yes, oh yes. So yes, the fact so. that there are three of us on board... So I came from Hamble yesterday and it was about 18 and a half yeah. knots all the way. Okay. That gives you an idea of how quickly we're going. It's obviously not quite as quick as a big powerful petrol motor, but it very, feels very comfortable, it's nice and quiet, and crucially it is planing. So at this kind of speed, to have a range of 45 to 50 miles is actually very impressive for a small electric river this size. Can I have a little turn at the helm? Is that yeah. possible? I'll keep the, Are you happy to keep the cord on? I'll keep the cord on. Can I pass you that? You can just holding like that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So do you mind if I bring it down first, just to feel the yeah, acceleration? Yeah. So it'll, the clutch will clutch in. Oh, so there is a, a clutch, is there? Yeah, is, so it's no, not... it, you just if you come straight back to stop. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Stops in there. Yeah. Okay. So that. But, so that's forward. just a physical yeah. sort of reminder rather than the fact it's going in and out yeah, of gear. And it's just got, yeah, and then yeah. if you just come up in speed yeah. slowly. Did you make this yourself or is that? Uh, that's something that has been developed by RAD. Okay. Made by RAD as part of the system. Okay. Are you hanging on if I give it a yeah, full, yeah. full, full, full run? Ready. Just Let's make it up gently. Oh, can I not go yeah. flat out? Well, yeah, you can go flat out, but... Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, not just... Smoothly, yeah, all right. Smoothly. Let's give it a go. Not even petrol engines like doing that, do they? <laughs> no, fair enough. <laughs> People slamming petrol engines. Wow, that is impressive so you torque, feel that isn't it? Torque, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then it quite quickly eases off, so it's got. Yeah, so it's got the, yeah. Know, for leisure, yeah, yeah. your water skiers and yeah. that will love it. They'll be. Wait, they you're not going to water ski at 15 knots. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's interesting. And it handles just like a normal. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. Handles like a normal rib. Yeah. That's really interesting. That's quite a different driving experience, isn't it? It's Most people say, oh, it's just like driving a normal rib. Yeah, but, but it, um, it's a different it's, sort of power curve, isn't it? Having yes, that instantaneous torque, yeah, but then it, it flattens, flattens out quite yeah, quickly. It's got a very different performance yeah, path. Yeah. yeah. And um, the hull, it does make for a smoother ride. Yeah. And it really is good in a, a good chop. It interesting. really is. It, it stays dry. The yeah. boat is very dry. So can you tell me where the batteries and drive are? Um, so the batteries are from after forward through the boat. We have right. eight of them, a total of 50 kilowatts of battery. All under the deck? All under the deck in a purpose-built battery box that has uh, sensors yes. and an auto extinguisher in there in yep. case there is any. Each battery has its own management system. Right. And they are all linked up to our power distribution unit. And who supplies the batteries? The batteries are Nissan Leaf batteries. Oh yes. From they come from Teesside. Okay. They're up in Teesside. The motor is from Rad down at Hamble. Right. And the hull is that viewable or is that out uh, of sight no, that's too? All sealed. Because okay. it's a four hundred volt system. Yeah. We have to for safety reasons, everything has to be sealed. If there's ever any issue with the motor or batteries, yep. that is a factory warranty. Okay. But that is why you know, it's hours and hours yeah. of trials and reliability. So they're all sealed in waterproof casings waterproof. under the deck. And then we've got another uh, cap that goes on top of this deck. Right. Here. And underneath here, on the um, battery lid top, there are two channels. So if yep. any water does get through the top deck, yep. it gets pushed out. Um, into the wash deck system okay. back here. And where's the charging The cables? charging point comes in at the forehead here. It's exactly the same as what you get onto your car. Right. So that's in here you have both 
AC and DC charging. Right. Um, I've been charging today just on AC, coming yeah. from just a normal supply. So just a normal marina supply. Yeah. Or we can then DC charge. Yeah. A lot faster from um, so Aqua Superpower. Yes. And people like that are putting in yeah. charges. Yeah. Or if you're towing it, you can pull up to a garage, or you can charge it at home. Okay. So, so on a no on a normal marina shore power how long should it take to charge uh, it's an overnight charge right from zero yeah it's so we plugged it in last night we came back and it was fully charged okay um you know and then i've had it plugged in since 11 o'clock this morning yeah and that put about 20 percent in okay so, so it is now 2 30 or so it's had sort of th two or three hours charging it does yeah. about 20 percent yeah okay well, that's on trickle what we call yeah. trickle charging yeah. fast fast charging or um, uh, rapid charge um, about 70% will be charged in 35 minutes yeah. and then about an hour and a half to top it right up to 100%. Okay, and fantastic. This technology is moving on faster and faster yeah. all the time. MDL have invested in fast charges, the first one going into Amble next month. Yeah. And so you, you can pull up to that. If you're going to Yarmouth yeah. or places like that, they've got a fast charger. By the time you've had your lunch, you'll be fully charged up. Terrific. And but even plugging in to a normal marina supply yeah. for the leisure user where they're just going out for the day and they're not going to be out overnight and it, Good stuff. Is, but the technology and have we got a bit of storage in here or? But yeah that one doesn't open at the moment oh, that's, okay. uh, that's anchor locker right and so we've got plenty of storage in there yeah uh, other configurations that we have yeah um, we have bench seats that can go in with a wider console. Okay, so you can get two or three people seated. Yeah, so it's it's, it's, um, it's licensed for six. Yeah. It's fully coded, um, both commercially and RCD and RC, RCR. Um, we've done the full all the yeah. full coding. Great. And so yeah, all we right. can fit six people comfortably on board. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. And there they go again, almost silently. And that's when it sounds really strange, when they're in neutral, there's no idle, there's no exhaust, there's no vibration, it's just absolutely silent until you put it back into drive and then you can start to hear the motor whirring away. But look at the shape of that hull, you can see it's got a very narrow forepeak and then cathedral hulls either side, almost creating two tunnels either side of the central hull. But that's what gives it its stability and its ease of planing. It also enables it to cope with the weight of those batteries in the stern. Very interesting design. And it's built by the same company that builds RS lasers and 2000s and other little sailing dinghies. And you can see a certain similarity. And there you can just see the tunnels exiting either side of that central hull. And off they go, under electric power. Fascinating new boat. There you go, hope you've enjoyed the tour of this little RS Pulse 63 electric rib. And we hope to bring you a full sea trial soon.